Here's part 2 of lesson 4, graph of rational functions. The domain of a rational function is the set of all the values the variable x can take, except for the values of x, that will make the denominator equal to 0, thus making the rational function undefined. The range of a rational function is the set of all the values the function f of x can take. The zeros of a rational function are the values of x that makes the numerator of the function zero, the denominator must be non-zero. This is also the x-intercept of the function. The y-intercept of a rational function is the value of the function f of x at x equals zero. If the domain is not zero, then there is no y-intercept. The vertical asymptote of a rational function is the vertical line x equals a, either increases or decreases, without bound as the x values approach a e from the right or left. The horizontal asymptote of a rational function is the horizontal line y equals b, if f of x gets closer to b as x increases or decreases without bound, as x approaches infinity or x approaches negative infinity. Here is an example. Sketch the graph of a rational function, f of x, equals 3x squared, minus 8x, minus 3, over, 2x squared, minus 7x plus 3. Find the, a, x and y intercepts, b, vertical and horizontal asymptotes. For the solution, first, simplify the rational function. Using the simplified equation, construct the table of values. From the table of values above, list down the set of ordered pairs. Before sketching the graph of the given rational function, find the x and y intercepts, given the original rational function, and its factors. To find the x-intercept, let's have the factors of the numerator, 3x plus 1, by, x minus 3, equals 0. Thus, the x-intercept is, x equals negative 1 third, and x equals 3. To find the y-intercept, let's substitute x equals 0, to the rational function. Thus the y-intercept is, y equals negative 1. Let's determine the vertical asymptote of the rational function, given the original rational function and its factors. To find the vertical asymptote, let's have the factors of the denominator, 2x minus 1, by, x minus 3, equals 0. Thus the vertical asymptote is, x equals 1 half, and x equals 3. Now let's determine the horizontal asymptote of the rational function. To find the horizontal asymptote, Let's consider the terms of both the numerator and the denominator with the highest degree. Let n be the degree of the numerator, and m be the degree of the denominator. If n is less than m, then y equals 0, thus the horizontal asymptote is, y equals 0. If n equals m, then y equals n over m, thus the horizontal asymptote is, y equals n over m. If n is greater than m, then the horizontal asymptote does not exist. Now let's go back to finding the horizontal asymptote of the rational function. 
Since n and m are both second degree, n equals m, then the horizontal asymptote is y equals n over m. Thus, the horizontal asymptote is y equals 3 over 2. And now, let's plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Now we are done graphing the given rational function, finding the x and y intercepts, and determining the vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Let us try doing a specified task. Here's seat work number one. And another task to perform. Here's seat work number two. Thank you for your usual compliance and response efforts.